The best booty pump of my life. Hey. Hey you guys, today on my YouTube channel I'm taking you through an intense booty workout. Anyone who's ever built strong glutes knows that you have to build up your full posterior chain. You need a strong back, you need strong legs in order to build strong glutes. So you can't just go to the gym and work your booty five days a week and expect to your butt cheeks to just balloon up to this enormous size. Unless you get surgery. The key to building a naturally luscious set of glutes, a plump peach. Start with your foundation and work on your compound movements and your progressive overload. The compound movements we're focusing on today will be squats, deadlifts, some lunge burnouts. We're gonna do some hip thrusts. I honestly think this may have been the best booty pump of my life. And we're gonna be focusing on your mind to muscle connection. So even if you have to drop your weight just a little bit, really, really focus on pushing through your heels in a lot of these movements. With the squats and your lunges, it's super important to be pushing through your heels because that's gonna focus the movement on your glute almost all the time. If you're clicking on this video and you're a type of gal, you just want a bubble butt. I, I, I understand, I really do, but let me give you a piece of advice. In order to get your dream booty, you need to focus on your full body. Build a firm foundation and a good, strong posterior your chain, your back muscles, yes your glutes, but your hamstrings and your quads are also important, as is your upper body, like don't be slacking on your shoulders, on your back, on your chest, yes! Anyway, I hope you find this video valuable and helpful, if you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new, click that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video, and if you have any requests for me, leave those down in the comments below because I'd love to connect with you down there and hear what you'd like to see from me. Alright, let's jump into the video. Hello everyone, thank you for popping into my video. Welcome to another bomb bootylicious workout. I will be popping in here every once in a while to tell you ways you can modify these movements for optimal glute gains. Here I am starting with some glute activation. Right now I'm doing pulsing squats with a pretty heavy resistance level glute circle around my legs. Glute activation workouts are really important because your glutes are naturally really lazy, especially if you have a desk job where you're sitting on your booty. So make sure that you get them fired up and ready to work. We are going to be just doing two sets of this. I only like to do two. I don't like to get my glutes too burnt out, just enough to wake them up. And if you're confused about the workout or just want to screenshot it and take it to the gym with you, scroll down and the description box will have the full workout below. Let me answer for you cause I know I'm great Loving on myself cause if they hate then tell me who will if I The best way to check your squat form is to stand facing a wall about one or two inches away really close put your arms straight up and down with your shoulders just right next to your ears and do a squat that close to the wall it will show you how to keep your spine in the correct posture because you don't want to be butt winking at the bottom of your squat which is simply tucking your tailbone under at the bottom and over time your hip flexibility will get better so you'll be able to do deeper squats but if you sacrifice your form for a deeper squat then it's not worth it fam just don't do it on these hip thrusts you're gonna love these make sure you just point your little toes outwards like I just showed you and that'll make all the difference in the world in your hip thrusts another thing that will change your life that I learned from the glute god himself Brett Contreras he says that you need to tuck your chin all the way into your chest so I literally hold my head there because then you can't lead with your rib cage, you're leading with your glutes, and it seriously makes such a huge difference. So try turning your toes out and tuck that chin in, sis.
Can you say hi to the camera? Hi camera. <laughs> hi friends. With deadlifts, it's very important to keep a flat back, totally flat. Sit back into those hips and stretch through your hamstrings. For deadlifts, I like to have an alternating grip, so I have one palm facing forward and one palm facing back. Make sure you retract your scapula backwards and try and stick your chest out as much as possible. And girl, don't you dare forget to squeeze those cheeks at the top. All right, time for a beautiful lunge burnout. We're starting with walking lunges. Make sure you really stretch. Push through your heel to focus it on your glute. Now we're doing some curtsy lunges. That is a superset, they're back to back. We're only doing two rounds of this total because it's a burnout, but you're gonna do 10 to 12 reps of each. This is the man behind the camera. I just switched the lanes. Hey. Damn, he did it again. Mohammed, I just flipped the, the pain. Stripping and dipping and bass. <laughs> slab on everything. Swimming, you sinking away. Cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses. I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until I whip my coffee. Money clip I tossed it. I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh huh. Coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just wanna win. LABB, who we running with? Yeah, two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again. Pump up the action. I'm active. If he never heard of Ben Dope, he just napping. Jackson's off the rapping. Keep it on my body. I'm broke if you ask it. Don't gotta sell it, most of y'all is flawless. Broken whips is longer than this foreign. Heard you wanna cause the yams enormous.